So we're kicking off another episode today with my guest, Matt Alexander. It's great to have you on the Rethink Retail Show. You are the founder, co-founder of Neighborhood Goods. This is an extremely buzzed about uh, new concept. It's not your grandmother's department store. You're completely reimagining what it means to be a brick and mortar retailer and mixing that traditional store environment with the frictionless technology and bringing brand experiences to life. Thanks for having me on. Um, and that was a pretty good summary. We describe ourselves as being a new type of department store of sorts, which is varying degrees of accurate, right? If you walked into our space in Plano, then into New York, then into Austin, you would see a pretty clearly evolving sort of thesis around design and otherwise. And we have fixed physical spaces as well as, as, well as digital experiences where for the consumer, you walk in and you see most major product categories represented, anything from home to kids to apparel, beauty and wellness, and otherwise. Uh, we have our own restaurants in the space. It's our staff, it's our design and fixtures. So it presents as sort of a small format uh, department store or uh, sort of a larger scale boutique. But the brands that you find inside the space are brands you typically wouldn't otherwise find in physical retail. They're much more of a progressive mix of modern and digitally native brands mixed with uh, some local sort of younger companies as well as some, you know, higher growth, uh, big name sort of international, more established brands. And instead of being there on a sort of wholesale static basis, just on a sea of racks, instead it's, it's more of an ever-changing footprint. But for brands, it's sort of for them, it can be a lot of different things. You might look at it as a real estate channel to test a new area in the country. For others, it's more of a marketing channel to get in front of more people. For others, it's a sales channel. Of course, traditionally, it might be there for brand adjacency and otherwise. And so a lot of them look at it as sort of a hop, skip and a jump away from having their own pop up, but without having to staff it, build it, design it, manage it. And so uh, the ultimate result is that for the consumer, you get something really vibrant, exciting, interesting, that's changing all the time, that's presented through a very relevant sort of angle and lens, but a lot of different things for all the brands and partners that we work with as well. Oh, <laughs>